Hello kids, how are you? How was your Mother's Day celebration? Did you all give her a great big hug? Wonderful! Our parents are God's precious gift to us. We learned about why and how we can honor our parents. Can you remember what they are? We honor our parents by loving them and saying thank you for everything. We respect and obey the rules they set because it's there for our own good. We accept their correction. It brings us back to what is right. That's correct. Today, we continue learning how we can honor our parents. We can honor our parents by respecting their stories and the wisdom they share, like this. And that's how it was and how I did it. Wow, <laughs> really? That's really interesting. Mommy, are you always sick of hearing grandpa tell the same story a million times? Hey, you always tell the same story. Are you ever sick of it? Oh well. Do you remember the story about the rabbit you told me this morning? Ah, uh, very funny, right? It was funny the first time you told me about it about a month ago. And it's still funny even though you told me the same story every single morning after that. Eh, I've been telling you the same story every time, but you never get mad at me. How is that possible? Oh well. Um, not at all. Your grandpa used to hear me tell the same story over and over and over and over again. He patiently listened and he never got bored with listening to me talk. And now, I have the opportunity to listen to him. What a blessing. Oh, and did I tell you about the mushroom and how I did? Yeah. <laughs> when we are patient and enjoy their stories our parents tell us, we will learn lots of wisdom from them. I love Jesus, but I hate getting my fingers dirty. Watch this. Wow, how do you learn that? Our parents have gone through a lot through their lives. Sometimes you might think that they don't understand us. They're much older than you, they're working. How could they possibly know what's happening in school? How do they know what's going on with you and your friends? But you know what? Your parents were once your age too. They may have gone through similar things as you. For example, they may have found it difficult to make friends when they were younger. So talk to your parents and maybe ask them how they make friends. Or maybe you find it hard to study. You can ask them for study tips on what to study and also how they study. We can also learn a lot from their successes and also their mistakes. We can honor our parents by asking them for guidance and listen to their instructions and teachings. Just like how this great ruler followed his father's instructions and became one of the greatest kings in history. Let's check it out! This is Solomon. Solomon became king after his father, King David, passed away. Solomon loved God and followed the commands his father, David, had given him. One day, King Solomon went to the most important high place, Gibeon, to make sacrifices. There, he offered a thousand burnt offerings on the altar. That night, God appeared to Solomon in a dream. God said, ask for anything you want, I will give it to you. King Solomon followed and obeyed his father's instructions, how to honor God and more. Proverbs 1 verse 8 Listen, my son, to your father's instruction and do not forsake your mother's advice. And because of that, he became one of the greatest kings in history. King Solomon must have learned a lot from his parents to be such a great ruler. And another way we honor our parents is to respect their emotions and feelings. One way is to be kind with our words and encourage them. How, you may ask? Wow, he did the best cookie that you may make. He is the best baker. Wow, mommy did the best beef that you cook. Wow, Tata did the best ali olio that you cook. So yummy. We can do the same with our parents. If you like something, tell them. 
They put in a lot of energy and time in making our meals, helping with homework, fetching us to school. It will make them so, so happy when we tell them that we are so thankful towards them. Thank you, Mommy, for making my favorite fried chicken. Oh, your food's super yummy! Thank you, Daddy, for fetching me to school. You're the best! Thank you, Mommy, for spending time to teach me and guide me in my homework. Thank you for being patient with me. Thank you, Daddy, for teaching me how to ride a bicycle. You are always so cool and so knowledgeable. Our parents will feel so happy and encouraged when they hear it. You know, kids, our parents sometimes get tired and sad too. Just like us, when we face any problems at school. So, what can we do to cheer them up? We can honor them by supporting them. Give them a big hug and tell them, You got this. God is always with you. God will stand by you and walk with you. I cannot help you. Jesus can. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. I love you, Mommy and Daddy. Thank you for working hard to give us the best. You have got God's favor, love, and wisdom. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for blessing our parents. Help us to honor them with our words, encouragement, and obedience. We pray that you give our parents good health and wisdom to do well at work. In Jesus' name, Amen. Bye kids, see you next week! How do I know my mommy loves me? Because she baked, she cooked yummy food to me, she, she drives me around, she helps me clean up, and she also bakes in me. My mom expressed her love by cooking for me every day. She cooks for our family and I am very grateful. Anytime I want my favorite food, she cooks for me. We have crazy fun times together too. She also prays for me. How does your mommy make you laugh? When she tells me a funny joke. Mommy tickle me. She dances in front of me and we all have fun. If your mommy was a cartoon character, who would she be and why? Um, Papa Smurf because she disciplines as well and she's smart. She will be Louisa from Encanto because she's super strong and she likes to work out. She will be Rapunz. Why? Because she looks like Rapunzel. And I know she loves Rapunzel. What do you and your mommy do together? We cook and garden together. Pan and baking. I go to the shopping mall and buy groceries and I make cake with mommy and make muffins with mommy. Go to the playground with, with her and I and I also sit with mommy and, and eat with mommy and and smile with mommy and drink some drinks with mommy. My mom and I love baking. Every weekend we would make cookies and we would share it and enjoy it with us and What is something mommy always says to you? Um, uh, eat your food. Drink more water. She loves me. What's your mommy's favorite food? She likes seafood and she, she likes tom yum and she can never survive without coffee. Watch your channel! The spicy noodle and water. What makes mommy happy? Mm, by helping out my mom with things I'm able to do. Money, money, money. Doing homework. Putting my towel back. Um, durian. A house, a phone, some games, and make TikTok What makes you proud of Amal? Uh, she's smart, she's cool.
cool, she always listens to me when I talk. She supports me in all the new skills I want to learn. She serves me nice food, she always hangs out with me, and she likes to watch movies with me. Happy birthday! I love you! Happy birthday! Happy Today, I'm going to teach you a game that you can play with your family at home. The name of this game is called Tube Tunnel. What you need in this game is some toilet rolls, some long ones and short ones, paper cup, scissors, tape and a ping pong ball. First, use one of your toilet rolls and cut out a hole that is big enough to fit the ping pong ball. Now all you need to do is plan out a route for your ping pong ball to go. While planning your route, you can test it by putting the ping pong ball through and check that it goes through all the tubes. This is the route I designed. Shall we try if it works? Sing cry.